One of the most important things for, for you to think about right now is your customer journey, which if it hasn't already, is probably going to change forever. Um, <clears throat> when I'm talking about a customer journey, for the benefit of this recording, I'm definitely talking about um, the moment that a client or a customer contacts you all the way through the, their journey through your business to them paying for your services and ideally referring you on to somebody else. Um, and many of you may have already mapped your customer journey as was. Um, again, just for clarity, when I'm talking about mapping a customer journey, I'm talking about looking at what happens for your customer step by tiny step. So it's looking at your customer's journey through your business and all of the tasks that support your customer's journey through your business. The way we we always map a customer journey when we go into a business, it well, we actually use a big roll of brown paper, <clears throat> but for the benefits of the video, um, a sheet of A3 or several sheets probably will suffice. And what you do, as you see here, I know this is this is probably back to front now, but what you do, as you see here, is create swim lanes. So just lines all the way across the paper, like you'd see in a, an, a swimming, I was going to say an Olympic swimming pool, any swimming pool where you have lanes. <clears throat> and on the top lane, the top lane is always going to be the client or customer, depending on um, how you refer to them. Um, and then the other lanes in your customer journey are going to be used for uh, maybe you as the business owner. Um, if you have a small team, individuals in your business who each perform a separate role. If you have a larger team where several individuals perform the same role, then you would put the name of the role in these um, uh, boxes. The bottom two will then be used for um, your software. Ideally, they'll be used for your software. If you don't have enough room because you've got so many roles in your business, you may just have one box for software. Things like your accounting software, perhaps your um, CRM uh, software, your client booking software, whatever it might be. So <clears throat> what you do then with your sheet is you get some, if you're doing it on an A3, you get very small post-it notes. <laughs> available at Amazon and other places, I'm sure, um, while Amazon is still delivering. Um, you take a post-it note and you write on one step of your customer journey. So what is the first thing that happens? Say in this instance, it's a client calls. So you would write on client calls, stick it in the client, in the client swim lane. And then the next step would be call is answered, who is going to answer the call or who is currently answering the call? <clears throat> so you can do this one, if you've never mapped your customer journey before, it may be an idea to map your customer journey as it was last week, the week before, and then go back and look at it and go, okay, what gets to stay and what absolutely needs to change? So. You map your customer journey step by tiny step through it. And then using a different color post-it note, you mark any, any issues that you find at all. So whether it's an issue, um, generally speaking, that, um, I don't know, say the team, uh, team regularly have to wait for a few days for, uh, for you as the business owner to make a decision on something because, well, because you're out and about. Obviously, that's not going to happen at the moment. But what are the things that need to change? They go on a pink post-it note. So <clears throat> you work through your steps. As you find something that needs to change, you write what needs to change on this post-it note and stick it in the appropriate place. So when you've finished, you end up with a sheet that is hopefully largely full of yellow post-it notes, but has a number of these for things in, on your customer journey that need to change to create the new normal. Um, <clears throat> we're all about now, we're all about creating the new normal. So what has to change in your customer journey? It's a really good exercise 
to um, well, everything has to be done online now that we're all working remotely. If you want to do it online, um, then there are pieces of software like um, Miro, M-I-R-O. They have customer journey mapping software. Uh, Lucid Chart, I've also been told Lucid Chart um, is, is a very good piece of software. Um, and uh, Or you can simply um, do it on PowerPoint. You can create that on PowerPoint and just create new text boxes for for each of your steps. So if you would if you were to do the exercise on Zoom, you can have all of your team there with a shared screen looking at your customer journey and talking it through. If you have a, a long and complicated customer journey, you may want to do this in small chunks because it's um, <clears throat> doing it live. Um, it is. It, it always takes several hours because there's quite a bit of discussion with the team, um, either as to the business owner going, well, we do this, this and this, and the team going, no, that never, it never happens that way. This is the way it really happens. Um, <clears throat> so work with, work with your team, chunk it down if you need to. So, you know, maybe do just the um, customer onboarding as one session, and then, you know, maybe the next day do um, uh, for delivery part one, delivery part two and so on. Um, payment and, and uh, referral request, whatever it might be, <clears throat> whatever the stages are in your customer journey, you can break it down into those stages. Really, really important at this time that you do take the time to look at your customer journey, to revisit it. The th sort of things that are going to be on these um, different colour post-it notes, they don't have to be pink, um, <clears throat> different colour post-it notes are, so say for example, you you start mapping your customer journey and you've always worked in an office and you've always had somebody that answers the phone and <clears throat> they you've never quite been 100% um, consistent as to one, how they answer, answer the phone and two, how they take down information um, that, that you need in order to uh, call the customer, call the client back. <clears throat> so on, on your post-it note, note, it might be um, agree how we're going to answer the phone, agree who is going to answer the phone first, agree how we're going to answer the phone, agree um, a template uh, for capturing information and then agree where that template or how that template is going to be sent and to who in the team. So even in that very first part of your, of your new client journey, there may be two or three changes and two or three ways of making it really, really consistent because this is all about consistency. This is about <clears throat> creating a customer journey that will see you into the future. Um, I talked on a video yesterday about planning for this as if it's forever uh, and creating the new normal. This is you creating the new normal. As much as you can involve, involve your team, do. Um, and when you get to the end of your, your customer journey or even when you get to the end of each stage, I want you to uh, create an issues and actions sheet. So everything that was on the pink note goes down as an issue. And then you you agree what the action is going to be to to um, to become the solution for the issue, um, what steps you're going to take, and who is going to take that action, and by when. So it's really keeping everybody engaged in making improvements now that are going to um, that are necessary now, <laughs> but are also going to see you forward into the new future when we uh, when we come out the other end of of the coronavirus. Um, customer journey mapping is, is important at any time. It's absolutely crucial now. Um, what I'll do is put um, in the comments, I will uh, I will put a copy of the customer journey map um, with a little example of, of how to map it. Um, and also I'll put a, a, an issues and actions sheet just so that you can see what I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> as usual, if you have any comments or questions or want to speak to me directly, 
Um, my details are um, around us somewhere, <laughs> depending on where you're watching this video. Um, my my email address is me at mariannepage.co.uk. Happy to receive emails um, directly right now. Um, or, uh, you know, drop me a, a Facebook message, LinkedIn message, whatever. Um, but go do that customer journey mapping. It's really important for you and your team just to get clear about how you want to um, work with your with your clients and customers going forward, how you need to work with them going forward. Even, you know, ask ask your customers um, <clears throat> what would work best for them. That's all, all, also a good way to uh, to work through this. Get a customer on, a, on the call. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Um, OK, good. Go have fun with it. And tomorrow um, I'm going to be talking about how to make the tasks supporting your customer journey consistent, how to how to make the new way, um, the new way we do things around here, how to make that consistent. Have fun. See you soon. Enjoy the sun while it's here um, and I'll, uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow.